RB tray is a utility that you're not going to use every day, but when you do use it, it can be pretty useful. The basic functionality is you right click on the minimize button and it sends the application to the tray. So as you can see down here in my taskbar, I've kind of artificially run a whole bunch of programs, but this isn't too abnormal. If you use a lot of different programs, it can get kind of messy and you can find yourself having a difficult time locating the window you want to open. So what this does, it can be useful for, say you're doing a screencast and you want to hide a bunch of stuff, or you just want to focus on a single task and not be distracted by all of the games you've got going. So if we were to right click on the minimize button, so normally this wouldn't have any effect if we have RB tray running, you can see the icon that shows up down in the taskbar, and then if you right click on that, it'll show you the RB tray options. You can just single click on it, and that'll bring it back. But when you do that, it goes away from here. So I'll do that with a few more windows, and you can see I'm cleaning up the taskbar, so I'm getting rid of a lot of these windows, but I'm not closing them. If I had work that I was actually trying to get done on them, I wouldn't be losing anything. They're still there and running, just not in the way. And so that can reduce the kind of the overhead of the things you've got running in the taskbar, and then you've got all of the applications that you want to bring back in the tray. So let's just go briefly over how to install it. It comes as a download that doesn't have an installer itself, but it's pretty straightforward to install. You can simply copy the 32-bit or 64-bit application to your startup area. And if you're not using Free Commander and, and have the easy Windows startup location there, you can go to the Start menu and then Programs. And if you go to the Startup folder, then it will show you. And you can right-click on that and Explore to show the uh, location there. So. All you need to do is to create a shortcut to the 32-bit or 64-bit uh, binary that you need. Now, how do you know if you're running 32-bit or 64-bit Windows? If you don't know, there's a useful utility that's called 64-bit Checker. And by running it, it'll tell you if you're running 64-bit or 32-bit. And it'll also tell you just for your own information if your processor supports 64-bit even if you're running a 32-bit Windows, meaning you can install 64-bit Windows and be up and running with 64-bit. Uh, you'd be able to have a lot more memory uh, accessible, which could be useful. Anyway, so once you determine whether or not you need 32-bit or 64-bit, then you create a shortcut to that. Uh, let's go back here. So you can drag it over here and create shortcut. And it's as easy as that. I like to get rid of the exe. And that's all you got to do. So once it's running, then that means by putting in the startup, it'll be running every time you restart. So the very first time, unless you want to reboot your computer, you can simply run RBTray after you've installed it. So then it'll be running. And one of the negatives I found is that you don't see it in the trays unless you've minimized something. So you won't see it in the tray, which is kind of a nuisance because you can forget about it very easily. I forgot that I even had this running until I wanted to clean something up without closing all the windows. And I just wondered if I had set up something to do it. And sure enough, it worked. So that's one negative is you may not even remember that you have it. but once you've used it a few times, you'll probably remember it's it's very easy to use. So that can be easy to just try it out to see if you've got it running. One other thing to note is if RB tray is exited, so if I go to exit RB tray, it'll restore all of the windows that were being hidden with RB tray. So you can make sure to find all of your uh, windows that were hidden before. And that's a pretty short overview of RB Tray.